I thought just to um, a quick explanation on what happened the last time I was flying the helicopter and uh, I was doing the uh, orbital manoeuvre um, and then the uh, I wanted to stop the heli coming out or as it came out around and back into wind I wanted to st stop the heli doing the orbital manoeuvre and uh, as you may have seen from the video I, uh, I've got on my channel that uh, when I flick the switch to come out of orbital mode uh, the heli just dropped out of the sky so just to clarify exactly what happened was the uh, heli was in normal mode no, obviously not in vertex it was flying normally GPS was on uh, and the heli was in run like here so and I had that switch on the orbital mode so the heli was doing circles nosing uh, and on the second one what I wanted to do was flick this back into as it came complete to the second orbit flick that back to normal and leave the heli pointing into wind so what actually happened though was as I was um, flying and I get, came round and the nose came round into wind I actually accidentally not that and as you can see what's happening here this switch is for stop and run so basically by pushing that forwards I um, switched the heli off during flight and this is why it dropped so uh, I think for myself this position of this switch should be here and this one here but that's only my opinion it is as it is so I'm going to have to be very careful and suggest everybody else who flies one of these is very careful that while this is in this mode we you are very careful not to accidentally knock that forwards during flight while operating this switch as I say for me um, it perhaps should it could this could even be better here I'm not right sure but uh, anyway it was uh, if you've seen the video it was di disappointing and the heli crashed because uh, it basically the rotors just stopped here you can see the damage that was done to the uh, canopy of the heli so a lot of braking here uh, all the paintwork's cracked here there's chips in the paintwork there and again stress cracks or the paint's flaked off purely because it it was under so much load when it uh, when it hit the ground thankfully nothing else was done to the heli uh, you know it, and again if you just watch the videos it's uh, you can see that uh, you know I flew again after the incident the main damage to the cowl was how it split here if you look down inside the uh, canopy you can see there where the split is against um, on this side here it's split all the way down there that black tape is holding it on at the moment so what my intentions are is that I'll just rub some or apply some glass cloth in the bottom there to uh, make that seal good cut the whole cowl back so I don't know if I'll rub it or reline it or recover it fully in um, glass cloth. I'm not right sure yet, but uh, I do intend to repair it. Although I have ordered another cowl, so um, this one probably will end up being my spare uh, following renovation. Now let's try the orbital mode and as you can see the hell is doing this itself I'm actually touching nothing on the stick so it's just orbiting around on its own so we'll bring it back into uh, into the wind Well, I don't know what happened there, but that looks disastrous. So that